So what exactly is wrong with the Colorado River and by extension, Lake Mead and Lake Powell? Well, essentially, it's a budgeting issue. With current and projected deficits, we need to cut expenditures by 32%. Let's make it an even 40. Here's a graph of the total flow of the Colorado River every year since 1900 to the present. This red line represents the 16.5 million acre feet of water that the Colorado Compact says is available. And now notice how often the real world line drops below the red line. In fact, the total flow of the Colorado has only gone above this line twice in the last 12 years, and even then just barely. And so this graph makes it easy to see why the levels of Lake Powell and Lake Mead keep dropping. If the blue line goes above the red line, the lake goes up. And if the blue line is lower than the red line, the lakes go down. It's pretty simple. In the middle of the 20th century, really only California was taking its full share of the water. Arizona built its water project in the 70s. And then in the 80s, it started to get really, really wet. And so the savings accounts of Lake Mead and Lake Powell filled up right about the time Arizona was starting to use its full share of water. But starting in the year 2000, the supply and demand side of things started going in the wrong direction. You've got all the states taking their full allotment of the river, and the incoming flow started trending back to normal. Normal being less. And with climate change, it could trend even lower. And so ultimately, this becomes a budgeting problem. How much water is being spent versus how much water is coming in. Just like a household budget, if we use less water than we take in, we're going to stay out of trouble. The thing is, we've had 20 years to bring our water spending in line with our income. But nobody stepped up to make sure that the green line stayed below the blue line. In fact, the only major user on the river not using their full allotment is Las Vegas. That's right, Las Vegas. Just how insane does it have to be for Las Vegas to be the responsible one when it comes to consumption? Meanwhile, you've got other areas of the country that just love to talk about the climate and the environment using the maximum amount of water possible. In fact, the government entity that oversees LA's water supply is currently paying farmers in the Palo Verde Valley to not water their crops so that they can use the water during the current shortfall. So what needs to happen next? Every user on the river needs to be prepared for massive cuts in delivery. This isn't personal. This isn't city versus rural or agriculture versus drinking water. This isn't even about climate denial versus climate panic. The numbers are here and no amount of wishful thinking will change it. The savings accounts are almost empty. And if you don't stop spending water today, it will stop coming out of the faucet tomorrow. We just need to take a tip from our favorite parks department director. Slash it, slash it, 